Okay, this is the best part of the biodome project. Eating the vegetables. This is a regular, freshly picked. And you can eat this all the way through December. Spinach, lettuce, you name it. Think of the money you're going to save at the market. Now, let me introduce you to the beginnings of Biodome 2. We are buckling down. We're getting ready for a really bad economy. You can feel it. So what I'm going to show you how to do is make a greenhouse in your backyard for even less than 100 bucks, for like 50 bucks. We're going to begin Biodome 2 with this product. Basically, plastic sheeting, extra heavy duty. Uh, we prefer anything uh, with one mil or, or thicker. Uh, this particular product is uh, pretty huge. It'll cover an entire biodome. This is six mil. So we're here with my assistant, Sarah Hart, and she'll tell you about the plastic tubing. So we have these white plastic PVC that we wanted to help support the structure and we have these little T connectors or you can have um, yeah or you can have the total T connectors but they have an addition one to step down into the white plastic tubing and they fit fine with the black. We got T connectors that fit perfectly holding both sizes together. Be sure to use duct tape around these connections to make sure that they're secure. Okay, so it's very important that you tie down all your connections. And that means you have to use duct tape. And duct tape is your best go-to solution. You wrap it around, essentially, a few times. And you can go up and down the plastic. At the very end, what you want to do is lip over the, the duct tape so you have something to grab onto case you want to disassemble it and reuse the unit and it's very important that you have these under control. If you have to use a little extra duct tape so be it, if you have to go down the pipe so be it, make a nice tight loop. Everything will then cinch into position and hold through pretty tough winds and we'll show you in just a little bit how we can secure the wood around the plastic to make this a really tough and resilient cold frame. The black is flexible and the white is not so flexible, but it's structurally strong enough to be a strut. And what we did was we created a safety inner carriage to actually hold the plastic. And we attached it to larger black plastic inserts as we go down. And these are sitting on top of rebar as well. Right. Let me show you this picture right here and we'll lift it up. And what we did was we got a three foot piece of rebar and you can see it down in there. Yeah. that actually holds it in place and will hold it up against any major winds. We also uh, recommend getting a uh, soaker hose. They're about anywhere from a seven dollars to ten. A soaker hose is really good. That way you don't have to do a lot of individual watering. We've got a lot of spinach growing right now. Okay, we've got, uh, we've got wood from a previous time which we used on a similar structure and we also have the plastic from the previous time. So that plastic that I showed you just a second ago is actually our second layer that we could possibly put on or maybe a replacement layer yeah, for we, this plastic. We found out we only needed about half the plastic to use it for it. So that's why he was showing you the bag we used before. Okay. Yeah, half the plastic of a big bag. And that bag was purchased for around uh, $20. So between the plastic in the bag and the PVC and the flexible PVC, You've got another $20 investment, and the connections are around 5 with the glue. And it's best to have some wood, like I said, to put around the base. And this is heavy wood. You can find it in a scrap pile. Could you also use something like a cinder block? Yes, you could work? use a cinder block. That so would be very effective. heavy to hold it down to keep it from the wind blowing it over. Right. Okay. I'm okay. going to roll out this plastic and yeah. get started. Okay, great. You guys can take a look and see us do it in real time. Turns out this was six mil, but you can use any type of plastic you can find. It's just the stronger, the thicker, the better. Yeah. Okay, we're positioning it in such a way that it will stretch around the outside of the ribbon. Pull it down 
down below too. So. Now I'm going to take a big piece of wood, and it's important that it's heavy and thick, and put it in front of you. And then remember, these big boards are useful. They go right along the sides, and be sure you put rocks on top of them. It's very important. You've got to lock the sides down really tight, otherwise that wind will pick it up and take it away. So, find some big boulders, anything that'll work there. Okay, so the big question is, you've got the plastic up, how do you keep it from flying all around in a windy day? Well, the best thing we've come up with is a thing you can get at the hardware store. These are cinch clips. Cinch clips actually hold really tight and they cinch down on the plastic and you'll see me right now I'll do this side and what I want to do is fold over the plastic so it has a little bit more of a bite and then it grabs. Okay, I'm going to cinch down on it really tight. There you go. You can hear it cinch. There you go. Okay and as you can see we've done this on the other side as well. So I'll make a slight adjustment here. But these are very effective at holding plastic down. And here I'll, I'll get a nice horizontal line here. You roll it over again and cinch down. There you go. And you hear it clip there. Perfect. So this ties it together. We do this on the other side. And then we're going to have end caps which will close it off. And we'll do the one end cap today to show you how the end caps work. And those can be in black tarp. The black tarp actually holds heat in and will convect the heat inside and absorb sun energy. And then what you want to do is do everything you can to double insulate, triple insulate. What we've got here is the same concept of tying down using tarp clamps. And these tarp clamps are readily available at major stores and, and hardware stores. They take a little getting used to, but once you grab a portion of this, it's nice and tight, it cinches down on it. There you go. And it cinches nice and tight, creating a barrier. So, double barrier, triple barrier if necessary. Put, put plastic underneath and then layer it if you have to. And it's really affordable. Yep. I hope we inspire you to build your own greenhouse.